What's up everybody, Brian Mann here, Hands-On Auto Training. This is uh, March 24th, 2022. Guys, premium members, we got our meeting tonight and I'm hoping I don't have a problem here. I'm in the middle of doing a program on, or should I say starting a program on this 2014 Ford Fiesta. This is a brand new TCM right from the dealer. My shop has been waiting for four months, four months to get this thing in. And uh, I hit the go button probably about five minutes ago I actually went up, made a couple phone calls, handled some other stuff, and came back, and we're still sitting here. So this is not really normal in my experience. So um, I see I got a testman error here. Look at that. We've got, I want to get you guys in there so you can see it. I didn't even see that. We do have a, um, this little guy here saying testman development. So I'm going to let this sit for a little while. I'm not going to freak out just yet because I can't do anything with this. I mean, I'm really stuck here. I'm at the mercy of Ford IDS. This is 125.03 we're running. I want to let you guys know when you're doing these uh, Ford Fiesta Infusion TCMs and all that stuff, there is a tag down here on the transmission, uh, right on top of the transmission, and you have to compare your part number. Um, this one does have the tag for the updated service number. I'm going to move around and see if I can find a way to make you guys see it. I'll take a picture with my cell phone and put it up there. But... Uh, Right now, I think I'm at a spot that's going to be giving us some problems. This is very interesting. Um, this is the latest uh, version of Ford IDS, I believe. I'll double check that. Uh, if you don't know, you can go right to motorcraftservice.com. And uh, let's see here. Diagnostic tool support, software, IDS. Oops, I might have went too far. And we go to... Click on download software and yeah, 125.03 is the latest Ford software. I just installed it the other day. Uh, guys, I installed it the other day when I was working on that uh, uh, Ford Transit 350 parameter body control model I started on Monday. Um, that's set in a U3000 uh, colon 49. <clears throat> I don't know exactly what's going on there. However, the technician did send me a picture today, I believe, of what was in a door jam a harness that was rubbing. So that might've been causing the body control model to shut down and all kinds of weird stuff. So I'll be sure to fill you in on the details of that. Uh, we'll talk about that tonight at our premium member meeting, but uh, I'm gonna go back here. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> at this point, uh, this is not a good situation. Uh, we are trying to start a program. I don't think it actually found the file. It didn't tell me to do anything yet with it. So, um, I really am going to wait just a minute more. I'll fill you guys in, show you what's up. This is the fun of programming sometimes. So I went ahead and clicked on that Testman error, and it closed out. And now we're back to this screen where it says 125.03. I don't think anything's going here. So at this point, we're going to shut this down. Um, it's saying cannot proceed until the application of the module programming is finished. Well. Nothing's happening. Uh, just so you guys know, the lights on the MDI, or uh, VCM2, should I say, uh, those are off. So there's not a lot I can do here. I um, really have a bit of an issue. So I'm going to go ahead and control alt delete this bad boy. And that's hard to do with one hand. We're going to go ahead into our task manager. Um, and there's our test men. Main tab, end task. So I'm gonna go ahead, restart my laptop, and uh, give it another try. Go for round two here, guys. Wasn't planning on any problems. Uh, this is my last job of the day. And, uh, well, so it has an open session. I'm gonna say no and see what it does. Delete the session. And we're gonna hop back in here. Start new session. It's probably gonna come up with a, a previous session in progress once it pulls a VIN number off the PCM. And uh, so this VIN was found in a pre previous session. Do you wanna uh, abort and restore? I say let's go ahead and do that, sure. Let's see if it'll let us do the PMI here. So, all right, there we are. Let me make sure our uh, transmission control module is still on the network, okay? It's normal for it not to communicate with, um, with other modules, but uh, we gotta make sure that it's actually talking. And let's hit the play button. And 
There's our TCM, so it's alive. That's great. Pause that. Uh, go back to module programming. And let's see if we can do a PMI on this bad boy. Set ignition on. I never turned it off. I didn't want to. I was very hesitant about that. I never got to the point where it said it was going to turn it off. So we're going to hit. That is our VIN. Yes. And let's see what happens, guys. It should come up with a screen that says uh, which style transmission do we have? Do we have the update or not? And we do have the update. And uh, well, we're going to see what happens. It's been one of those uh, type of couple weeks ever since I got back from Vision. <laughs> it's, every job has been a little more challenging than you expect. Um, I'm going to have a fun one. I think I got a draw to do on Saturday morning on a E250. I'm looking forward to parasitic draw testing. I think it's got a 600 milliamp draw, so that should be enough to make it pretty easy to locate. <clears throat> Let's see here. I want to see. Just so you know, we so we don't have a Prindle. Uh, the Prindle's lit up, but there's no indicator light um, on there. We got the little wrench light on the dash. Just taking a look at what's going on. And we're waiting. All right, here's that uh, page where it asks you, uh, does a part number on a transmission start with this design or does it have uh, the upgrade service tag? We, we do have this service tag right there, so we're gonna hit yes. And I think this is as far as I got last time. Right here was the end of it. I couldn't get anywhere further. Um, this looks better already, I think. So all accessories are off, check. And I don't know if there's a possibility, actually maybe I didn't get here, we gotta hit the check mark. It's gonna go online and try and find a file. I don't know if Ford IDS may have got silly because I waited a while. I mean, on that page where it asks you, does it have this service number or not. It took me a while to get the right angle with my cell phone so I could see the tag or whatever. And uh, I always like to take a picture of it because of documentation purposes so I can show my customer why we chose the calibration we did. So this is where it got silly before. We were waiting. Um, I do want to check my internet connection. I got good internet there. Let's see what we have on our, on our phone. I'm showing, uh, I am showing what, uh, yeah, three bars, 5G, should be okay. But guys, this is where um, it just didn't complete last time. So I waited and waited, and then all of a sudden, uh, it started getting a no response type thing. So hopefully Ford doesn't have a problem on their end because then my customer's gonna have to tow this to the dealer. I won't be able to charge them the money for trying to do the job. And uh, well, that's just not a good situation for anybody. So I hope everybody out there in YouTube land is doing good. I've been, like I said, super duper busy trying to get a lot of stuff done and caught up <clears throat> ever since Vision. Um, I do have some more live training events I'm doing for other shops, individual shops coming up. I had a really cool text message from uh, Rodney. Uh, you know who you are. Uh, we did a, a training event at his shop. It was a very, very small training event last week. And I got to show him parasitic draw testing using millivolt drop testing. You know, guys know about that. And uh, he actually uh, got a chance to put it to work and it worked. So he was really happy about that. So that was cool. Uh, it really is rewarding when we get to see uh, people uh, get somewhere with uh, what we teach them. So we're seeing here that this is trying to attempt to copy the data from the network. So if this airs out, um, I'm not going to have a way around getting a job done. I think there's probably going to be something on Ford's end. Maybe I could possibly go to the Motorcraft Service website and hope oh, this is good. This is good. So it says turn key off. I never had to turn the key off yet before. The key is off. And we'll hit the check mark. Install blank service module. It is a blank one, just so you see that. And uh, guys, I'm trying to do better camera work for you, not be shaky and not. Uh, flip the camera too fast, so I'm making slow camera movements. <laughs> there the key is on. And we'll hit the check mark. And this is a normal message here. It has multiple memory locations. Okay. And it says turn ignition on. Well, we just turn it on. Ford doesn't realize what's really going on, huh? There we go. So it's doing it now. Woo! 
Uh, we're not out of the woods yet, but guys, I was getting a little nervous there. I was like, uh-oh, may not be able to collect on the job, and I spent all this time here already, so hopefully everything goes good. Um, if you're doing these, let me know if you're running into problems. I know, excuse me, I know a couple other technicians that are mobile have been telling me about uh, having issues doing some of these TCMs and you know weird stuff happening. I've had some used ones where you can't get the vehicle to start ever, can't get the right calibrations in there, all kinds of stuff, but this is brand spanking new from Ford, so it shouldn't be a problem. Well, guys, I missed it, but as that thing finished programming, it made an awful racket inside that transmission. I mean, these things do make a lot of noises sometimes, but I wish I caught that on camera for you. But it says, go ahead and set ignition on. The ignition was never off, so we're gonna hit okay. And uh, set ignition off, I can do that. Let's see here. Hey, we got a Prindle light up. Uh, if you can see, it's uh, highlighting the park. Uh, I think there's too much glare for you guys to see, but that's awesome. Turn ignition off, and we'll hit the check mark. And I'm gonna go ahead and set the ignition on. I just did a Ford Fusion or Focus rack job just before this one. It was more of an initialization and setting stuff up. Um, kind of funny how things come in spurts, right? Calibration is loaded and checked. This is a beautiful thing, guys. Now we gotta do our adaptive learning. And I have other videos on that. If you haven't watched them, I'm telling you more about it, but I'm gonna go ahead and do this anyways. And some people like to see it again or some people uh, forget, so. Let's see here. Go ahead and turn the key to the off position. And check. Set ignition on. And check. Here, check. Oh, we're updating the PCM too. Didn't give us a choice there, so that's cool. Um, that's always a good thing to do. Um, I was just programming a 2014 Jeep Cherokee this morning and the customer had requested an update for the powertrain control module. And this was interesting. I use Ytech all the time, guys. Uh, it was interesting because I did the PCM update and it didn't have the message saying you must update the TCM. But I got the bright idea, hey, I better check to make sure the TCM is updated as well. And I go in there and there's a whole you know, paragraph message about make sure that the TCM and ECM are on the latest calibration levels together so you don't have any issues. So that's always a, always a really good thing to do. So as you see here, we're going ahead and getting this party started. Also, you guys should make sure you're paying attention to Super Saturday. Super Saturday is a great training event. It's going to be a two-day event from what I hear this year. I'm super pumped about that for Super Saturday. I'll be there. That's going to be in Philadelphia somewhere. Um, there'll be more information. As I get links to it um, in my email, I'll go ahead and share it with you guys so you guys can see about getting out there. It's going to be a great time, great training event. If you miss vision, maybe you can get to Philly for some Super Saturday. It'll be fantastic. I think that's the Mid-Atlantic Auto Care Car Care Alliance. It used to be the ASA Pennsylvania, but I believe it's the Mid-Atlantic Mid Auto Care Car Care Alliance. Uh, you'll have to check me out on that. I'm not sure. Fact check me. I need some help. Uh, but And another thing is if you have not seen, if you have not seen, uh, 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 or listen to Sean Tipping's Automotive Diagnostic Podcast. It's a great podcast. I'll put a link to that in the description as well. Lots of great information. I think he might be having me on sometime in the future. We'll see what happens there, but it's great stuff. Tommy, Olivia, um, he, did, he did a great uh, segment. I think I mispronounced the name, Tommy, Oliva. I think that's how you do it. Tommy, sorry, buddy. Anyways, um, excellent, excellent thing about uh, our article about charging for what you're worth and what you do. Fantastic segment they did. So make sure you guys check that out. And like that, our calibration is loaded and checked for our PCM. That's great. So this is a great screen to take a screenshot of for your customer. Always save this because it's uh, worth a lot to be able to show them what's going on. And we'll go ahead and like that and hit the check mark. Now we've got to do our TCM adaptive learning. So that's going to be a whole process, guys. I don't think I'll uh, take you along for that. Be sure to check out the other video I have on that. All right, we're redoing our uh, self-test here. We're going to clear everything out. We did all the adaptive learns. That's the, the uh, clutch learn, the shift drum learn, all that stuff. And uh, everything's looking good, the trans range sensor learn. So 
this job is looking like it's going to be complete. I'm really happy about that because I tell you what, it was a challenging one uh, with a little air there. So for those of you that don't do a lot of programming, I highly recommend uh, do not pull the plug like I did. Don't do stuff like that. You got to make sure you're sure that the, the program's not, uh, you know, actually going on. Um, I've had a few GMs where they literally got stuck and just took forever. Like, I'm not joking, like 11, 12 minutes. And then all of a sudden the programming goes through and everything was just fine. And if I would have pulled the plug, I guarantee I would have bricked the module. But this was a situation where we had a testman error and uh, IDS was not responding. So I'm pretty sure that's uh, you know, was a safe bet there. So once again, you guys have a great day. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know. Be sure to check out handsonautotraining.com. Looking like pass, pass, pass. Let me show you guys. Everything's looking good here. We don't have any, any codes have, uh, set. Nothing's setting, so we're all clean. Uh, looking good. Got a clean bill of health. But, uh, like I said, whoop. make sure you check out handsonautotraining.com. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.